Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Allen Family Firewood. We're at it again, and it's not raining right this second. Nope, it, it no. took a little breather. It rained all night and this morning, and yeah, and yesterday. Yeah, I mean, it started that yeah. light, light, steady rain. Uh, Even though the weather on our phone said just uh, cloudy. Yeah, <laughs> all yesterday you could look at my phone. Uh, I, That's what? I, is, I need a job as a weatherman. That thing is never right. I mean, I get it. They can't predict weather a day out, but at the particular moment, <laughs> up to date, right this second, they still can't get that right. <sighs> but oh, anyway. As you can see from that earlier clip, we went and got that load of wood yesterday. We did go and do it, and we got it in here to the wood yard. Um, and because it was, it was just a light, steady rain, and well, the stacking machine doesn't operate. And no, not rain. as a rule. No. <laughs> Plus, I had a million other things I had to do, yeah. so I chose to do those. <laughs> I I got back here. I brought the load in, and then I sat in the truck, saying, "All right, the phone says it's not going to rain, so I'm going <laughs> to wait this out." And it wasn't going to stop, and it didn't stop all day. And after an hour of sitting in the truck, I said, "You know what? I'm bored." I'm just gonna go cut it up. It isn't gonna take very long to cut up a couple of wood. So that's what I did. I gassed and chopped the saw and brought it over here and, and I cut it up. And you're not seeing the wood behind me, are you? <laughs> <laughs> There's a reason for that. I, after I got that done, I sat in the truck and... Contemplated again. <laughs> well, yeah, but I had made the call yesterday morning because we had a, a a lady that wanted three cord of green wood. And I figured, hey, we got a couple caught on the trailer and we'll show them the clips of that oak that we got later on. Yeah, we got that the other day before the storm. Yeah, so she said, yeah, absolutely. Bring me bring me at least the two cord load and then bring me the, the other cord right after. And I'm like, perfect, I'll cut that up in the rain and I ended up just splitting it, you guys, but I, because we're delivering two cord, I needed the big trailer that I've been dumping the wood into to, to split out of. So we had to move everything around and I had to shovel that concrete out of the trailer and that was a project, <laughs> but I did that, got the trailer over there and I just started splitting. But we can go show them that. Might as well. Yeah. See what you got done by yeah. yourself. <laughs> So, while you were getting your stuff done yesterday, I ended up splitting that whole entire load. Um, it weren't that bad, really. I mean, it worked out good with that rock bucket. I was wondering how I was going to do it, if I was just going to dump it on the ground and then pick all the pieces yeah, up. Yeah, that's never fun. No, I don't like picking wood up off the ground. No. So, I just scooped up with that huge rock bucket and brought it over and kept it right at this height and I'd grab a piece and turn around and set it on the splitter and, and bust it up. But it amounted to quite a bit of wood. I'm going to say probably a cord and three quarters. Yeah, it's not quite full, but... That that trail will level full to the top is, is two cord, two cord, but I always put more on than that. But And I think it was about four o'clock, the lady calls me that we're bringing the wood to and says, well... I, you know, I don't know if you can bring it. And I'm like, what? What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's in it's in the delivery trailer. And she says, well, it's a dirt road coming in and my driveway is kind of soft. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> so I, I just stopped. I mean, I had finished up the load and I think what we got to do this morning is we're going to drive over to the, her, her place and go check out the road. Yes, yeah, before we stack this trailer full of wood. Yeah, because <laughs> if she don't take it, then I've got to have this trailer. I mean, this is part of the operation and we'll just have to stack it. Mm. And I'm thinking it's gonna probably just keep, it's not raining this second, but- We'll see. Yeah, I'll probably just back it in the garage and stack it if we can't get in there, but so a bit of a road trip. <laughs> We're going to run over there and go look at that real quick. I don't know if the 
my truck's full of crap, so I don't know if we're bringing you along for that or not. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's getting getting rough to par with this. I don't, I don't think we, I don't think we can fit everybody in there. The the soda cans have overfilled the trash cans, and so anyway, yeah. <laughs> well, let's go check to see if that road is passable. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, I think we can get in here. I mean, that's all snow covered, but the only thing that makes me a little bit nervous is right here this is that's it's pretty soft over in here i mean no problem for a pickup but hey, geez it's too cold on that trailer time i pull by and then try and back this around to get up into a driveway and i'm gonna have to be onto the snow a little because the left side of that driveway i think i'd lose the whole trailer and truck on that left side it's really soft there but i don't know we'll uh We'll go back to the shop. And I still got a little bit more oak I got to cut to finish doing that trailer, but let's go do that. We'll bring the load. I mean, what's the worst that can happen, right? <laughs> we jackknife the trailer coming up the hill. <sighs> we'll get it done one way or another. <laughs> let's get back to the shop. All right. We just got back to the wood yard because it's back to <laughs> misting out again. Mm -hmm. Light rain, whatever. But at least that's good news. I think we can get in there. I think if we can get up that hill, I'm going to have to rug on it to get up there with that load. But Yeah, at least we don't have to stack it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we'd have been inside stacking instead of out here. And you would gonna... have been stacking too, so. Yeah, well, that ain't going to work. You, so. can, you can get up any hill. <laughs> you have to if you don't have to stack. Uh, but we still got to do, what, another half a cord to finish that trailer and... We can, we'll show them some of the cutting and splitting, but we we went last week and got another load of free wood, and that's the load behind us. It's all oak. There was some big stuff. There was some saw logs yeah. in there. That was a nice load, and we got a little um, footage talking to, to Mikey about his oh, track yeah. machine. That was interesting, and yep. seeing him load that big log onto the trailer, that was a challenge, but... Yeah, there were some people that asked about the make and model of those little skid yeah. machines, and I didn't know because, yeah. well, yeah. he'll explain it. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll, we'll show you that while you're waiting for us to get this yeah. trailer filled, and then we'll go attempt to deliver it. <laughs> I got to go take the rock bucket off and get the fork so I can get in there and get some forkfuls and get it cut up and get the whole process rolling again here so we can finish the load. <laughs> yep. And we'll be right with you. In the delivery. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Look at that, guys. That's what you call an oak saw log. All right, you guys, we had we had a request. Somebody wanted to know how many horsepower, the make and model of this thing, and this is the owner of it, Mikey, from Mikey's Trees and Driveways. So what? tell me about this machine you use to load the logs. Um, so this is a Vermeer CTX 100, and it has the hydraulic uh, rotating grapple um, that you can get with it. Nice. Uh, we call it the uh, Trees and Driveways Edition. Because like all my stuff, I, I took all the yellow paint off. Uh, Vermeer is usually yellow in equipment. And uh, I painted it black and put my own stickers on there. So that's why you don't see the Vermeer markings. That explains it. it. All right. I was wondering myself. I wasn't sure. Yeah. Yeah, it just gets kind of real banged up and dinged up. So black kind of just worked for it. Uh, How much it, will that thing left? It, it's got to be two, three thousand pounds. It's rated. It says around two thousand, but I mean, we've picked up logs that. Oh yeah. You know that drag them out. You know, if you grab it by the end, drag them out. I would say three thousand pounds. Yeah, you usually got that thing standing right on its nose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's always fun. Yeah, it's really been a game changer in the uh, uh, tree industry, 
and I bet. Uh, it does the work of five guys, you know, as, oh, you, yeah. can, as you can see. We well, use a dragon brush and feeding it in the chipper and... Yeah, it makes things a lot easier now, like when we take the trees down, all the branches are down, we can just pile them up with the butt ends sticking out. Yeah. And this will grab them and drag them to wherever you need to bring them. Nice. Way better than the farm tractor I used to use for, yeah. for doing this stuff. Way better than this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, you guys, we're going to get this load chained up and get back to the shop. we got to come back because they still got one more big tree out there, right? Yeah. Big, another big oak? Big oak, yeah. Cool. We we're need the hardwood. Time. Nice. All right, well, it'll take us some time to get back there and unload and get back. Yeah. All right, we'll be right back at you. Thank you. All right, load number two, you guys. Geez, we just barely backed in, and he was setting the wood on before we could even get the camera out here, but... You can hear them in the background. They're still knocking down the rest of the tree and uh, going to be some big sticks. <laughs>
that is one big heavy stick guys look at the butt on that log red oak i know that thing's over 3,000 pounds so we might have a challenge taking that off with the with the tractor back in the wood yard but i guess if he can get it on there with that machine then i can take it off with the tractor so. okay. Yeah, what a mess. That's a big pile of crap that's going to be there for a while, and it's blocking the path to the pile of chunks back there. trailer's full now we got to go see if we can deliver it yeah hopefully Ho <laughs> with hopefully. no issues yeah now that it's a little bit later and it's warmed up and it's a little more soupy oh yeah it's mock <laughs> hey we can do this yeah and it's you guys have seen me deliver wood in this trailer before water level at the top is two cord and you can see there's way more than that on there mm. But it's my cousin is this lady we're delivering to so she said she'd take anything for wood so all the short pieces that chunks. helps we didn't end up with a pile on the ground she took yeah it all, she took so. it all she's not picky she don't care what she puts in that stove as long as it's hardwood and it's yeah gonna be good for next year so well let's go over and Hopefully we can dump it in her yard. <laughs> I hope so. We don't need to call a wreck and get us out. No. We're going to try. Think positive. Here we oh, go. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, we made it.
<sighs> All right. Well. We did it. <laughs> yeah. We got up in there. Not too bad either. You... No, it wasn't bad at all. I, I wasn't sure. I mean, she said it was a sinkhole and the UPS trucks get stuck. The oil truck gets stuck. And... She was out there videoing us with her <laughs> phone when we came. I think she was uh, thinking there might be some excitement. <laughs> yeah, no, it wasn't that bad. No, we got in no. pretty pretty quick. But, <laughs> but we kind of hung ourselves because she was thinking she wanted three cord. And after she looked at that load, she says, well, that looks like the three cord delivery I got last year from another local guy around here. So, and in all reality, it probably was close, almost two and a half, I bet. Yeah, but that was it. That's all she needs, so. Yeah, it's plenty it for Is her. what it is, yeah. yeah that, was, that was a big pile. But we should have probably made sure that the... Um, the battery on the dump trailer was charged oh. because we just got that dump. Yeah, I had to pull ahead a couple times because it didn't have enough oomph to, to lift yeah. it. But we got it, and it's already unhooked, and it's over there on the charger. Details, and, details. Yeah. <laughs> and we were supposed to go tomorrow for Mikey to go haul hardwood. Yeah, But yeah. that job got canceled because of all this snow that we had. They got it they got mostly ice south of us and it's bad down there i mean yeah they're running around all the tree companies are right out straight doing emergency work there's trees on houses power lines down across roads it's yeah so that's keeping them busy so that yeah. job got put off and uh we'll probably be hearing oh, from yeah. them at some point oh soon. yeah that's <laughs> that last storm is going to create work for them throughout the entire summer there's going to be more work yeah, to be done. Yeah, there was a lot of damage. There, there was a lot of power outages. There's still people without power from that. Yeah. So and that was a few days ago. And the sun popped out here. It's turned yeah. into a completely different day. Yeah, it did. It was the, raining this morning. The and wood, wood yard's nice. nice and muddy again. It's great. <laughs> Snow's melting pretty quick, though, so we can only hope. It is. It is. As long as we don't get more. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that sun is bright. Not used to seeing the sun. Yeah, ow, ow. Jeez. <laughs> I love it. Oh, uh, we, we can't go get wood from those guys because, they like I said, they're doing storm damage, and it's usually just like one tree over a house or one across somebody's driveway. Yeah, it's not a it's not worth going down pick and pick up, up one tree. situation now. No. And they know that, so they just send it all through the chipper, no matter what. I mean, they can take a two-foot stick of wood and send it through yeah, the chipper. Yeah, they get so. that stuff taken care of quickly, though, because it, that's right. just the whole idea. People need it gone quick. So When I talked to him last night, he said they just did five emergency jobs that one day. Yeah, so yeah. It's coming. We're yeah. going to get a lot of wood from it, that's yeah. for sure. Well, we'll see. Now i got to figure out what I'm going to go on and do next. Am I going to cut up pine? Am I going to cut up hardwood? We should probably focus on the pine. Probably should and get it drying because there ain't <laughs> much here. It. We really need it. Yeah, I'm not. I don't. I forgot what that was. Was it maybe eight, ten cord <laughs> yeah, here? Yeah, I and... think so. We we got to get moving on that. But yeah. Oh well. Yeah, I think I had said a while back we'd have fifty cord done by <laughs> May first, and well, that gives us what a month. Yeah. And we're only. Well, that's you know, barring there is no interruption in that in that plan. So well, yeah, I thought we were going to have nice weather. And we've had a few interruptions not in that plan. Snow so and ice and crap. It's what it is. Yeah, <laughs> got to roll with it. All right, so we're going to let you guys go, and I'm going to go cut pine because the sun's still up. It's <laughs> what 4:30. Yeah. 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 Okay. All Sounds right. Like a plan. <laughs> All right. Catch you guys later, and we'll catch you on the next one. <laughs> All righty, we will. The <laughs> next one's going to be pretty. Pretty neat. We ought to tell yeah. them about no, that. No, no. Let's just let them wait. It's different. No? Yeah. No. No. It is. It's going to be a different kind of video. <laughs> okay. All Catch right. you on the next one. Bye. <laughs> Bye.